Riders, this is Deidre Huey with Action Rider Tack. And with winter upon us and very cold weather coming, depending on where you live, uh, there's a really good chance that your ground is going to start getting really, really hard. And in some cases, there's going to be mud lying around. So we thought we'd really like to give you some things that you should know about your barefoot horse. Because some of you, of course, are barefoot. And others of you usually have shoes on, but maybe taking the shoes off of your horse for the winter. So the first thing. Don't let your horse stand around in mud. This is one of the number one ways that a horse will develop thrush in the winter time is from standing around in the mud. This is true of any horse, whether it's shoot or not, but especially true of a barefoot horse. So try to keep that to a minimum. Try to keep your horse out of that area. The second thing is to, what you could do is put down some pea gravel. Pea gravel around the paddock, maybe around where the water trough is, where you feed your horse. This is going to allow for a couple of things. One, the pea gravel will conform to the underside of your horse's hoof making it very soft and comfortable for them to walk around. At the same time, it actually massages the bottom of the horse's hoof around the frog and will help the frog to stay nice and healthy with blood circulating throughout the winter because the ridges that are in the ground when the ground gets really hard can damage the underside of the hoof, especially that frog. And especially if you have been shoeless, it can be incredibly tender. The third thing to think about and to remember is to keep your horse on a regular trim schedule. A lot of times people will extend that time and to an even longer period of time because the hoof does grow a little bit slower, but it doesn't stop growing and you can end up getting your horse off balance. And putting your horse off balance can cause any number of injuries, including, believe it or not, it can actually encourage the development of thrush just as mud would. So make sure you keep your horse on a proper schedule. So if you have been used to, if you're shooed and you've been used to going about 10 weeks to uh, getting your horse shot, make sure you have your barefoot trimmer come in know, about eight weeks. Six weeks would be optimal, but at least eight weeks. Shorten it. Don't lengthen it. It's just dangerous for your horse and can actually damage him. And you may want to go for a ride, so make sure you keep a pair of boots on hand, some hoof protection to protect your horse when you want to get on in the middle of the winter time. We highly recommend Easy Care boots. The gloves are just fabulous. Get studs for them to help your horse to not slip on the very slick surfaces that occur in the winter. This has been Deidre Huey, and you've just heard three things that you should know about your barefoot horse in the wintertime. Uh, please leave your comments below and like this video if, of course, you did. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, be one with your horse. Take care.